Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom splash screen in Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. So let me go ahead and open up one of my programs right now real quick. So, uh, I'm going to open this up. This is a SWF player I never released because I just pretty much made it for me. But anyways, um... You want to go right here, right click, and click, go right here to add, and click Windows Form. Make sure it says Form2.vb, or if you already have another form, just leave it like this. Add, and wait till Visual Basic makes it. Okay, like this. So now, go to the properties, where it says the text, that's the text up there. Erase it all hit enter so there's no text go up to where it says control box double click it to make it false go down to form border style and make it none so now this is just gonna be the splash screen with no border or nothing just make it the size you want about right there now go to background image and just import a background um, I didn't make one let's see um, just pretty much anything. I'll just add whatever this is. Wallpaper. Open. Okay. Just like that. Now, just you can use labels. I'm just gonna use the label because I didn't design my splash screen yet, so I'm just gonna add label. Um, you can customize this however much you want. But right now, I'm just gonna. You don't even have to copy me on this if you haven't designed it yet. So let me just. Why? Let me just type in whatever. Enter. Then make it bigger. 50. Okay. Let me use this to put it in the center. Alright, like that. And you can make it so people can click this and it'll go to your website or whatever, but I don't want to show you that right now. So, just pretty much when you have your design right here, everything like a splash screen, you want to go ahead and add a timer. And make the interval how, like for two. If you want the splash screen to only show for two seconds, you're gonna have to tap in two thousand for the interval. Each one thousand is a second, so I'm gonna do two seconds, so two thousand. And enable the double click to make it true. Double click on the timer and click um, me dot. Uh, me dot show. Um, okay. Wait. Me dot show. Let's see. I forgot the code. I guess it's just me dot show. Then put form one. Or yeah, form one dot. Visible equals true. And oh my god, I don't think this is right. Oh, it's me dot hide. Me dot hide. Form one dot visible equals true. And then add timer one dot enabled equals false. So me dot hide from one dot is equal equals true and timer one dot enabled false. Now go right here um to your form one design or whatever. Uh, let me push this down. Go right here to my project, right click and click. Oh wait, form one and then properties I guess. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, where was that thing? Uh, 
My bad. I don't know how to get to the yeah, there they are. To these properties. Um and right here where the startup form is, make sure um it says form two. So the splash screen will come up first. So right now everything should work. So let's check it out. Let's debug it. Okay, it should be popping up like that. Hackers team. And there you go, it just comes up and it it waits two seconds and then the real form comes up. And let me just um here's another thing. You can make this um here's some of the things I forgot to tell you. On the shutdown mode, uh, make it shut down when the last form closes. And on the splash screen, click on it. And for the start position, make it center screen. Now everything's all good. So it, um, like that, and, you, and the, it'll come up in the center. And then there you go. Now when I exit here, the program closes. So yeah, that's how you make a custom splash screen in Visual Basic 2008. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more official basic tutorials. Alright, bye.